Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Eddie Gilmore from the Irish Chaplaincy is my next guest. Now, Eddie joins me to discuss their fundraiser, a celebration of Irish music and dancing taking place on the evening of Saturday, the 7th of May at St. James's Church, Piccadilly. Now, details can be found at www.irishchaplaincy.org.uk and on our website, also irishradio.org. Eddie, welcome back to the show. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Great pleasure to be back. Now, Eddie, Irish bishops uh, sent priests to England in 1957 to support the many Irish immigrants. Now, your outreach work has expanded to serve uh, Irish elders, those in prison and travellers. As a spiritual organisation, it's fitting that the, the venue for the concert is an iconic church in the heart of London. How has uh, that come about? Yeah, the rector of St. James's is a wonderful woman called uh, Lucy Winkett. So the Reverend Lucy Winkett. Uh, Lucy and I go back a long way. Um, and uh, we were in my previous charity, Lash Together, and she sang at my wedding 30 years ago. And soon after I started at the Irish Chamsey, we were having a cup of tea and a chat about fundraising. And Lucy said, well, why don't you do a fundraising ch- concert in the church? So we did. It was a great success. And this is the third time we'll, we'll be we'll be back in the church. That is uh, that, that's uh, absolutely uh, excellent. Now, uh, a special uh, setting indeed. Now, uh, revenue streams of charities have been hit since uh, events such as your annual concert was suspended during lockdown. Now, uh, uh, desperate as times have been, uh, do you think that a, a positive outcome of the pandemic is that uh, the joy of a return to face to face gatherings isn't uh, taken for granted anymore? Oh, that's right. It is such. Um, on, on a couple of nights ago, I did a concert with my choir, and it was just such a joy to be to be together again. And everyone was commenting how wonderful it was to be to be singing together, to be doing things together in person. Um, I did a charity bike ride yesterday with my with my club, and again, several people were saying, "Isn't it nice to be doing things together again in the flesh?" I mean, it really it really does you good to to do things with other people. Indeed. Now, uh, as your uh, as your b- the banner on our website, irishradio.org, reveals, the programme on the 7th of May will appeal to everybody. Uh, the early start doors open at 6pm with uh, pr- proceedings getting underway at 6.30. Makes it ideal for families too. Now, on the bill, there's an amazing, the London Celtic Youth Orchestra, the Irish Petros Choir, and uh, much more. A real variety there, already. There is. Yeah, great variety. It's something for all ages. And that's... You know, and that's one of the joys of our concerts that, that we, we bring old and young together for a wonderful, a wonderful celebration of Irish music. And, 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 and it'll be a fantastic night again. Now, Eddie, no doubt uh, you're hoping for a good turnout and an enjoyable time for everybody. Now, ultimately, though, generating vital income is the aim. Uh, give us a brief example of how people attending can uh, make a difference in terms of how uh, funding has helped uh, an actual Irish chaplaincy service user. Yeah, one one of the med- one of the many new successful projects we launched be- because of COVID was something we called Keeping Connected, whereby we supplied all the Irish in London who were usually living on their own and, and very isolated with a pre-programmed electronic tablet, uh, which was really easy to use and it was such a success. People really took to them. So you kind of you press on the screen here for for mass because people want told us they wanted to you know to. They missed going to mass. Uh, press here for your favourite uh, Irish radio station where we've got programmed in, and press here for uh, a face-to-face conversation with one of the team. Uh, such a tablet um, and a, an internet dongle for connectivity, a year's worth of internet, um, costs about £250. And we've managed to, to, to give it over 100 of them so far, and, and, and we'd, love, we'd, love to, we'd love to give even more to people. It's been such a successful... And pe- people have said it, it's transformed their lives, you know, during, during lockdown and beyond. Excellent. Individual contributions are important. Now, uh, you're also grateful for uh, funding from the Government of Ireland and the Irish Catholic Bishops' Conference for this particular event. Now, I'm aware that you want to acknowledge uh, your sponsors, the Boyle family, also CCLA, Good Investment, others are the McGrath Charitable Trust, and uh, uh, AJ uh, uh, Monroe, uh, uh, Morris Rowe and Sons. Uh, Eddie, these are, are strong partnerships that must be greatly valued. Oh, very much so. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We're, we're, we're very grateful for for all of the people who support our work, um, and you know, it enables us to to do even more of the you know the fantastic work that we're doing. You know, helping helping some of those Irish people who who, who are most in need, really, in Britain. So, no, we're, we're very grateful to our sponsors and to all all who support our work. 
Now, generosity uh, it gives rise to optimism, and that's a central theme of your recently published book, Looking Ahead with Hope. Now, uh, you give us an insight into the uh, uh, content of the previous show. Has the, has the book been well received, Eddie? It has indeed, Jerry. I've, I've been so touched um, by the comments that I've received from people, which I've been collecting. Um, ju- just a little sample, and, and pe- pe- people from all over the world have been buying it, you know, by, by the, the wonders of modern technology. Um, so Peter in Kilkenny says, a great read, love all the stories. John in Australia, nice little chewable chunks of thoughtful wisdom. Uh, Jim from Donegal says, it's heart lifting, coloured with humanity. Uh, Mary in County Coclair, it is an absolutely beautiful book. Helen in Lincoln, it nourishes my soul. Um, and Margaret in Dublin, a witty and moving book, utterly fascinating in its insights and conclusions, beautifully put together, very enjoyable. So I've, I've been so touched by, by those kind of comments that, that people have made to me. Absolutely fantastic. I'm pleased to hear that. Now, there's uh, details on how to buy the book on our website, irishradio.org, but if... Uh, you can make it along to the concert on the 7th of May. You'll be able to uh, buy a copy there. Now, it's a great read arranged in uh, in short chapters, each with uh, meaningful content. Uh, when we close, I'll play an extract from your version of The Fields of Athen Rye, Eddie. That uh, was, uh, had particular significance uh, tied in with the book. Can you tell us uh, about it? Indeed. Um, so just before COVID, I, I was doing a prison visit with, with one of the fantastic team at the chaplain, C. Eleanor, at HMP Chelmsford. So um, we were running a traveller forum there and I, I was singing some Irish songs w- with the band and uh, there was a, and, and one of the guys shouted out later on, can, can you sing the fields of Athen Rye? I said, oh, of course I could. You know, I mean, um, you know, my, my dad's from Galway. It's a very special song for me. And, and it, it actually someone had taken their own life in the prison just that morning. But but one of the guys came up to me as I was just getting into the first verse. He put his arm around me and he sang with me into the mic. And the guys there at, at the event, they were they were punching the air and shouting out the words. And it was a moment of just pure and unforgettable joy. Um, so so I, I'll you know I'll never forget that, that event. Incredible. Now, Eddie, we'll invite you back soon to give details of another of your initiatives, Walk With Hope. Uh, you'd be uh, delighted if people could uh, get behind you and uh, walk in aid of your charity. That's between the 6th and the 11th of June. Watch out for details on our website and I'll uh, announce the date. Uh, Eddie will return to the show. It was uh, popular last year, Eddie. I recall uh, uh, surprising your group with a, a song dedication when you were at uh, about the halfway point as requested by Catherine, John and Sarah. Uh, yeah, that's right, Jerry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think we'd, it was uh, 500 miles. Yeah, we're, we're not sure yet what the song will be for this, for Walk With Hope. So, so, so we're still discussing the absolute details, but it's going to be another great week with some great walks. And, um, and and I'll tell you more the next time I'm on, I think. <laughs> great. And no. hopefully, hopefully another great fundraiser for us. Excellent. Now, returning to the 7th of May concert, ticket prices are uh, adults £15, uh, children five are Great value for uh, a Saturday night out in central London. Now, the link to buy tickets is uh, fundraising.irishchaplaincy.org.uk forward slash event forward slash May forward slash 2022. Uh, for ease of reference, you can find it on our website. Just go to irishradio.org and click on the banner. Eddie, listen, have a great evening and uh, well done on all your efforts. Thank you, Jerry. It's been a pleasure as always. And here we go, this is Eddie. Prison wall. I heard a younger calling. Michael, they have taken you away. Or you stole Trevelyan's con, so the young might see the morn. Prison ship lies waiting in the bay. No lie the fields of back and right, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing It's so lonely Round the fields of Athen By lonely prison wall I heard a young man calling Nothing matters, Mary, when you 
you're free Against the famine and the crown I rebelled, they cut me down Now you must raise our child with dignity Fields of Afton Rye, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Afton Rye. Last star falling as that prison ship sailed out against the sky. So she live in hope and pray for her love in Botany Bay. It's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rye. Fields of Athenry.